Lee and Matt the Immortal Brown. Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo today we're showing you the World Tour Championship between Bruce Lee and Matt Brown. I hope you guys gonna like it. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds, but now with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion, and he believes without a shadow of a doubt that he is the best 170 in the world, and he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Brown is eight years his senior. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. All right, now with the official introductions, we go inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 25 wins, 18 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, presenting the challenger, Matt the Immortal Brown. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Lee! All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the field. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Starting to see some of the damage caught underneath that right eye. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. All right, he closes 
closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And that one certainly found the target. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Strong hook lands. Strike to the body here instead. It's turned away by Lee. Beautiful kick. Nice hook lands. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Just over three minutes to go round one. That right hand landed. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, okay, hey, cover up. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice spinning attack to the body lands for him. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Leg kick. Let's get that takedown and win the round. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, right hook attempt. No good. Beautiful head kick. Oh, back to the overhand right. Swing and a miss. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Oh, nice jab. Huge block there. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Back and forth we go. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relativities. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Single collar tie now. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you gotta think the knockdown is gonna be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him. But the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin. But he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning. And you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. 
starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice punch there by Brown. Another shot lands upstairs. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Brown's kick is blocked. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Back and forth we go. goes into the latter rounds. Oh, man, hit to land. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Brown. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice strike. Ooh, what a head kick. Just misses with the right. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Now connects with the right. Back and forth we go here. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Another beautiful kick down the lane. We'll see how he chooses to defend here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Good fight here, under two to go. Oh, man, that cut is getting worse. Absolutely nasty. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Lee. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Brown. lands over the top. Come on, bud. Let's get those hands working. Very tricky when he throws that body. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Strike landed there by Brown. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice body. Oh, beautiful hook there. Entertaining oh, wow. strap so far. All right, 
right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so the kicks to the body, certainly the big storyline in that previous round. DC, take us through the replay. He did a fantastic job of finding his spots. He was sneaking that kick right up under the elbow and landing those nasty body kicks. He did a great job of recognizing a weakness in his opponent's game and really taking advantage of it. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Brown. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Brown's cut on his cheek is nasty. Thank God these guys are tough because that thing will not stop bleeding at this point in time. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole to establish that jab once again. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big punch lands through the middle. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. In the tight clinch, look for the knees to start. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. left hand just out of range. Look at it, look at it. Now, shoot, shoot. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Brown's kick blocked. Lee gets caught by the straight punch. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, big overhead. And again, he lands another punch, DC. He's certainly got the hands going tonight. He is a phenomenal boxer. Well-placed kick there by Lee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh! He's in trouble. He's first man. Every time these guys 
come together, man. You just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Lee gets caught with that punch. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. There with the left. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Nice kick. Overhand left, swing and a miss. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just as he did in the previous round. Oh, right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly. And it hurt him very bad. Back to the feet. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on that. And it all comes together. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Single collar tie there. Big kick land. Oh, that's massive, massive hook land. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, he might be out. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, what a night for the UFC welterweight champion as he wins the belt with a knockout victory. He had some doubters coming in here tonight. Those people are pretty quiet right now. So thank you so much guys for watching this video, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. So this is the Welterweight Championship between Bruce Lee and Matt Brown. Thank you guys for watching. So his welterweight greatness continues tonight and still UFC champion. I think on nights like tonight, you're glad you don't fight at 170 pounds. This dude's a problem. I mean, he is a problem for anybody. Anybody within the weight area. If he decides to go...